Hello, I'm pleased to be with you all today to discuss API operations done the modern way with the help of GitOps. I'm Owen Packard, the head of products at Traffic Labs, and my colleague over here is Michael, one of our distinguished engineers. So let's get started on who Traffic Labs is. Uh, with the maker of Traffic Proxy, one of the leading cloud native open source ingress controllers slash reverse proxy, with over 3 billion downloads and over 45,000 GitHub stars and 700 contributors. We used around the globe in small and very large deployments. How did we come to work on API management? I had a steady stream of requests from our community to bring the dynamicity, ease of use and modern aspects of traffic proxy to the API area. So I started having a closer look at the API market what it looks like and its needs. We all know that APIs are more popular than ever. We have way more today for many reasons. They streamline and accelerate developments by reducing the time and resources needed to create new applications and services simply by reusing what's already implemented. They help bridge the gap between many disparate systems, especially for cloud native environments where machine-to-machine -machine communications break records. Handling so many APIs with UI clicks and proprietary scripting didn't seem to be as efficient as it could be. I heard teams struggle to keep up resulting in slower innovation, less frequent releases than hoped, and some deployments were faulty, for which issues were hard to track down. In these discussions, people told me they worked in large teams spread around the globe and collaboration at scale seemed to be an issue, especially on the API ops side. Things like keeping so many APIs up to date, making sure they were working as expected, documented, etc. I then quickly realized that most API management solutions were over 10 years old and didn't seem to fully deliver the user experience expected for modern environments. They usually rely on procedural and stateful approaches, relying on proprietary scripting for configuration and deployment. These seem to result in a steep learning curve, preventing the fast onboarding of new team members. Collaboration within large, geographically distributed teams face challenges and this often led to outdated API configurations and documentation, making a centralized, always up-to-date single source of truth challenging. They also seem to lack full editability, making it difficult to ensure and demonstrate regulatory requirements. I also realized that these challenges have been faced by many other teams and now have a proven efficient answer, GitOps. I believed we could bring something interesting, a fresh approach to API management, building from our open source cloud native project and philosophy. In short, let's align to the Unix motto and API in bundling trends, do one thing but do it well. So we focus on the API run, especially its operational aspects. Be lightweight and composable so people can freely choose the rest of their stack. Align to efficient collaboration, shift left and self-serve. Deliver great developer and operation experience. And a place to openly collaborate around a single actionable source of truth, Git. The DNA of Traffic Hub project was set. Let's reboot API management the modern way with a fully declarative approach. Unlocking GitOps and built for Kubernetes, leveraging the know-how of our open source project. Since we chose to deliver GitOps operation, let's have a closer look and discuss the GitOps principle v1 from OpenGitOps.dev. It is structured around four pillars. Uh, first, the declarative approach really changes how teams collaborate. Discussing freely and with the code itself delivers a clearer, shared understanding. It reduces ambiguity and unlocks automated checks to catch errors early and ensure compliance. In summary, GitOps make the development lifecycle transparent and collaborative. The second point is that keeping the desired state in a versioned and unchangeable way is key to GitOps dedication to complete auditability. 
This approach not only enables easy rollbacks in case of problems, but also empowers teams to reliably recreate configuration in any situation, making the overall strategy more robust. Thirdly, automatically fetching the desired state transforms the deployment process, enhancing repeatability and efficiency. Deployments become more predictable, consistent and efficient, eliminating surprises. This introduces a higher level of predictability and control, especially valuable in today's complex environments. Last but not least, continuous reconciliation is the core of GitOps, automatically keeping the system in a known and desired state. See how this makes compliance simpler? By proactively fixing any deviation from the intended setup, GitOps removes the need for manual interventions. This not only boosts reliability, but it also ensures stability by avoiding unintended changes from piling up. So now back to our product design choices. We chose Traffic Hub to follow a fully declarative, CRD-driven approach that would unlock collaboration at scale through known and proven approaches as such as Git pull requests. An approach where you can fully track who changed what, when, how and why. The goal is to maximize human feedback and discussion together with automated checks to minimize faulty change risks. Deploy all this automatically for efficiency and repeatability and increase fail fast, deploy, learn, iterate loops. And even if you have issues in production, come back quickly to a working state without troubleshooting all night long while being on call. So now Michael will do a demo of these two use cases. One focused on API management, where the goal is to collaborate at scale while reducing risks of breaking changes. The second one focuses on API incident mitigation when problems get to production anyway. The idea is to show the benefits of a GitOps approach for these two use cases. Michael, the floor is yours. Thank you, Awan. Let's move to the demo to explain these two use cases. First of all, I have a Kubernetes cluster with Flux installed on it. All my Kubernetes manifest files are on GitHub repository. Flux will be in charge to synchronize manifests available in my Git repository into the Kubernetes cluster. It will install all APIs that I want to expose. It will also install traffic of agent that will be in charge to route, secure, and monitor incoming requests to my APIs. The demo will be in three steps. A quick tour of the Hub SaaS dashboard, an example of minimizing risk on a change on an API. And finally, I will show you how simple it is to mitigate something going wrong in your production APIs. Let's start with the Hub SaaS dashboard. As a reminder, don't forget that all Kubernetes resources are managed in a GitOps way. So with this UI, you can easily see what is exposed by your traffic of agent and who has access to which APIs. For this demo, I have created two users, Erwan and Michael. These two users will be able to connect to a dev portal. For example, as, Mike, as Michael end user, I can access to this portal and see the list of API I have access to. I can also manage my tokens to consume these APIs. For the demo purpose, these two end users are currently doing some requests on the exposed API to simulate some traffic network. Now let's move to the API change management part. Collaborating at scale and minimizing risk on breaking changes. As a developer, I want to propose a change on one of these APIs. I'm now on the GitHub repository where the Kubernetes files are declared. I will edit the Kubernetes resource that is used to declare an API in Traffic Hub. Let's take the employee. I will propose a change by changing the service name. I open a pull request. A GitHub action is triggered to run the Hub Static Analyzer. This linter will help you to detect issue on your pull request. And as you can see here, we have an issue with my modification. 
I have reference an unknown service on my API object. So the linter is blocking the PR and it avoid to merge something that is not working in my production. So now I would like to show you another part of the API change management. I will edit another object. Let's take the rate limit, for example. I will propose a change by changing the period of the first API rate limit object, and I will reduce the limit on the fallback rate limit. As you can see, a report has been produced that summarizes what will be the impact of this change on my resources. Let's assume that my colleagues are okay with this change. They can validate my pull request and merge it. Let's move to the last part, the API incident mitigation. In order to detect incident, traffic up leverage open telemetry to produce metrics about the API usage. These open telemetry metrics are sent to my local Prometheus instance, and I am using Grafana to build dashboards. For the demo purpose, we have built three dashboards. The first one gives you a global summary of all the API usage. The second dashboard is API-centric, like the number of requests on this API, how many users are consuming this API during the last 15 minutes. And finally, a last dashboard that is user-centric. I can have the number of tokens of this user, the number of requests on all the API. Let's go back to the first dashboard. You probably saw this blue line. It represents the moment where Flux has done a reconciliation. So it means that Flux has took change merged by the previous PR and applied this change in the Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, since this time, we have a large increase of error with a lot of too many request status code. It means that my last pull request introduced a regression. With the metrics provided by Traffic Hub, I'm able to detect that and start a mitigation by reverting my previous PR. Let's do that. I am reverting my previous PR by creating a new PR. The Hub Static Analyzer has done his report and his lint, and I can mitigate by reverting my previous PR. I come back to my Grafana dashboard. We can see that Flux has finished its reconciliation with the new blue line, and the issue has been mitigated quickly by only reverting the last PR that introduced the issue. Managing your APIs in a GitOps way is a game changer for the day to operation. Thanks, Michael, for this very clear demo. I hope you can all see the power of GitOps approach for API operations, both to prevent errors from reaching production and to efficiently come back to working state when it happens anyway. Now let's discuss how Traffic Hub put this into practice. First is the declarative aspect. Traffic Hub is fully CRD based. You can declare your APIs, group them into collections, some call API products, configure who can access what and how much with very flexible rate limit definitions, create and manage your API versions, API gateways and API developer portals. The dev portal, by the way, are available as an open source example on GitHub, which you can tweak and extend to your liking. And then, of course, your CRDs can be managed in Git, commented on, improved, and automatically deployed. The second aspect is what we call early checks, which many people refer to as linters. We developed a checker that lets you know about your changes impact in a clear way and warns you of configuration problems before deployment to production. To help with technical Steam's user experience, it is packaged as a GitHub Actions more soon and is part of the Git pull request automated workflows. The third um, product aspect I wanted to call out is API observability. We all need to know what is used, by whom, how much, 
and then what's the API health and performance look like. We chose to embrace open telemetry to deliver you all of this data in an open way so you can correlate it with the rest of your tech stack, from your infra up to the services and apps. In this example, our generated open telemetry data is consumed by Prometheus, then displayed in Grafana, with a contextual view of PR changes and deployments to help identify which changes likely led to issues or improvements. Now if we zoom back and look at the architecture, Traffic Hub is made of a SaaS control plane, managing hub agents, forming the data plane in your data centers, at the edge or in the cloud. The hub agents act as an ingress controller and API getaways and expose services as APIs where they're in and out of Kubernetes thanks to the Kubernetes external services support. When dealing with Kubernetes services, they are auto-discovered, saving time and avoiding errors. Now let's step back from technology and look at what we designed Traffic Hub to deliver. It was built with Kubernetes in mind with a fully declarative approach and locking GitHub approaches. It had API bundling in mind with a laser focus on API run, especially the API operations, where we believe the biggest ROI is. We want to make more efficient the way you manage your API changes in production, how you deal with incidents, and how you have a clear view of what's used, how, how much, and how healthy your API ecosystem is. The benefits we've seen with our initial customers, GitOps for API operations clearly enhances operational efficiency, especially at scale with globally distributed teams. By leveraging familiar constructs like CRDs, labels and selectors with the extended Kubernetes ecosystem, the learning curve is minimal and the time to value is, is really short. This has led to improve SLAs and SLIs. On the right, you'll find an RI calculator on our website, answer a few questions and you can estimate savings based on the DORA studies. As a side note, a large German retailer told us you're saving us hundreds of man days per year. Thank all of you for attending. I hope we convinced you to think about GitOps for API operations and we wait for you at our booth to discuss uh, modern API operations or traffic hub capabilities. Have a nice day.